Can't believe these woods don't have cheeseburgers. Unbelievable. MacGyver? Good thing these were just poison darts. Oh, God. Ow. Ow. My gun. Oh. oh, where are we? Why, why is it so dark? It seems to be like a dungeon or something. Oh, I guess. Oh. oh, I'm Matt Guyver, by the way. Oh, well, I'm Tammy Tangent. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Oh, we had a cell phone. Oh. Let's see, well, what's more, what do we have around here? Um, I can't really see much, but. I think I found a potato. Make a cell phone out of a potato? Oh yes, easily. And a shoe. Power supply. Have you ever done the classic science experiment like when you were a kid? Get power from a potato? Power supply? Wow, that's no, not really, it's just science. Whoa! Okay, let's see. Peter's number. Who's that old guy that was with me? I guess you could say that, but I'm usually saving his tail most of the time. Hello? Peter! Matt Giver! Where are you? In some kind of dungeon, it appears. Where did you go? I was, uh, conducting studies of the Earth. By that you mean looking for cheeseburgers? In a sense, yes. Where am I? Well, our GPS tracking device shows that you are in the lair of the infamous Integralius, located in Orinoco, Minnesota. Integralius? Who's that? Integralius is known for taunting his prisoners with calculus problems that may or may not pertain to their situation. Ooh, I hate those kind of guys. Do you have a calculator with you, Matt? Preferably a Texas Instruments TI-83 Plus or higher. I'll make do with what I've got. Well, you better get one soon. Peter! Peter! You're breaking up! I'm getting static, because I'm going into a tunnel. Call you back! And where are those cheeseburgers? Bye. Is that you, Integralius? Yes, it is I, Integralius. I've heard of you, Mathkyber. They say your skill at calculus is unsurpassable. I brought you here to test oh, your skill. calculus? You're sick. You're despicable. You're insane. Your first problem should be arriving shortly. You have two minutes to complete it, or you'll be dropped into a boiling vat of acid. My sucky calculus. We're going to die. It's all right. I think I can handle it. Ah, <laughs> So, let's see what it says. Oh, I don't want to do this! First task. Find the integral of 3x squared from 0 oh. to 2. Hmm. Well, I don't need it, but a graphing calculator would be nice. Let's see, what do we got around here? Uh, oh, here's let's some see. bread. That'll work. Let's see, I think I, I think I have paperclip behind my ear, yes. Good thing I always keep it there. You can a calculator from a paperclip and bread? Yes, oh, it's easy. Let's see. Okay, like this. Right, right. Form a circuit. Right. Oh, there we go. Oh, I still got it in me. Let's see. Okay, y equals. Type in the function 3x squared. Graph, but the window's off. I guess on bread and paper clip calculators, the window does not come standard at negative 10 to 10 in both directions. Okay, zoom, standard. All right, from zero to two. Now, that looks about like it'd be eight to me, but just to verify, I think we should do this by hand as well. Okay, so that'd be three x cubed over three. These cancel out. So just x cubed, and that's from 0 to 2. So just 2 cubed minus 0 cubed, which equals 
8 minus 0 equals 8. That's the answer. Wow, you make it seem so much easier, Matt. Ah, oh, it's not nothing. We have it integralis. We solved it. I didn't think they'd get it that fast. That was nothing. Just wait till the next tasks. Here is your second. These two cars are racing. The track is five miles long. You must determine which will win. If you don't solve this problem in five minutes, I will release a pack of wild rabbit beavers. Oh wow. Whoa. I think we're going to need a bigger writing surface for this one. Where are we going to get that? I don't know. What do we have? Um... Here's this towel. Um... What, what would you need? I don't know. Do you have any sort of, um... Aerosol propellant or... Um... Anything of that sort? I have hairspray! Hairspray? Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, just spray it right on there. Okay. That'll work. Here, spray this too. On the left, I'd say a function that could represent velocity would be 2x squared plus 2. Wow. And the one on the right, I'd say, uh, let's see, x squared plus 3 halves, so about. Yeah, wow. that looks good. How do you know that? Oh, you learn a thing or two when you're in the business for as long as I've been. Well, since we're short on time, I think I'm going to use my powers of uh, mental writing. Alright, so there's the velocity of the left car and the right car. Now, we just need a graph of it. I'll put that on right... Now! Now we just need to find the area between the curves, which will look something like this. Now, we just need to do this uh, mathematically, and uh, I'll just do the work like, uh, I don't know, like this. Now, the answer is 355 sixth feet. And that's the distance that, car, that the left car wins by. Integralius! We've solved it! Yes. We have the answer! Car left wins by 355 six feet. No, no, they've solved it! They didn't plan for this. They're better than excellent. No matter. The first two are child's play. You'll never solve the last one. Your final task is to find the volume of this light bulb. If you do not finish this task within seven minutes, I will kill Stanley T. <gasps> Oh, how are we ever going to do this? Actually, I've already gotten a pretty good start to it. Oh. You see, I just found a piecewise function that will help us to calculate the approximate volume of the light bulb and rotate it around the x-axis. Oh, pretty good. Alright, so this equation will calculate the approximate volume of the light bulb. Now we just need to add these together and we'll get it. And since we're short on time, I think we'll just do this on our calculator. So after typing this into the calculator, just press enter. Get about 25.53. Yay, I did it! We did it! We did it! Yay! Yay. 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 No! Boy, what an adventure. I know. Oh. Say, do you want to go out for dinner tonight? As long as it's for cheeseburgers. <laughs>